Will future hospitals be fully robotic? Check this out. China, robot doctors at world's first AI hospital can treat 3,000 patients a day. AI doctors can treat 10,000 patients in just a few days, a task that would take humans at least two years to complete. So there is an attention grabber for you. The world is making significant inroads into utilizing AI technology to advance functions in various domains, but especially in healthcare. We've seen AI technologies help to advance personalized medicine, predictive analytics, drug discovery, smart virtual health assistance, and furthering medical imaging and diagnostics. Now, a Chinese state media outlet reports that the country has developed its first AI hospital town, a concept in which virtual patients are attended to by AI doctors. The system, developed by a team at Tsinghua University, aims to advance medical consultation by training doctor agents in a simulated environment. The team says this will equip them to evolve independently and enhance their ability to treat diseases. So this has been a huge topic in AI recently, AI agents. And this is a very advanced example of that where these AI agent doctors can learn and grow on their own. According to the Global Times, the potential for high quality, affordable, and convenient healthcare services for the public is on the horizon. So a little more detail on this agent hospital concept. By simulating a diverse array of AI patients, medical students can confidently devise treatment plans without the risk of harming real patients due to decision-making errors. So you'll see in just a second that this type of system has multiple possible outcomes, one of which is doctor and nurse training. Not only can the intelligent agents learn on their own, but they are capable of autonomous interaction. So these things are self-creating a real world hospital environment. Again, according to Global Times, evolved AI doctor agents in the AI hospital have achieved an impressive 93.06% accuracy rate on a MedQA data set, which is U.S. medical licensing exam questions covering major respiratory diseases. So first, that's what they're training it on. It's most likely that something like this in advance of AGI would have to be trained disease category by disease category. Of course, AGI won't but we're still a few years away from AGI. These intelligent agents can simulate the entire process of diagnosing and treating patients. AI doctors can treat 10,000 patients in just a few days, a task that would take humans at least two years to complete. And by the way, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. It's with your support that we can go to TED AI in October and other cutting edge conferences where AI solutions are being rolled out monthly now. This AI hospital town can simulate and forecast various medical situations, including the emergence, spread, and containment of infectious diseases in the area. Think pandemic. So in this AI agent hospital, two different groups exist. Patients, and medical professionals, which is doctors and nurses. Researchers have established a configuration consisting of 14 doctor agents tasked with diagnosing diseases and creating detailed treatment plans, along with four nurse agents dedicated to daily support tasks. This transformation promises substantial advantages for both healthcare providers and the public. So the research leader is Liu Yang. Yang told Global Times that following approximately six months of intensive R&D, the AI hospital town is nearing completion for practical deployment. That means that this thing will actually start treating real live patients soon. 
Researchers emphasize the critical importance of strict adherence to national medical regulations, thorough validation of technological maturity, and exploring effective mechanisms for collaboration between AI and humans. So, as you might expect, because this is a self-learning system, right, it's going to continue developing and improving very rapidly. But they're also going to have to monitor it carefully when it's released for actual practical use in the near future this year. So what does all this mean? This article is absolutely correct. And a bunch of speakers at TED in May said it also that healthcare in particular is going to be heavily impacted by AI in terms of diagnostics, meaning evaluation and determining what disease state is at play, which also includes reading x-rays, MRIs, all that stuff. Furthermore, it means that AI agents will play a more common role over the next five years in your doctor's visits, whether they're virtual or in person. This is going to get more and more common. And it's most likely to end up where you go to the doctor in 10 years and the AI is asking the questions, not the doctor. And the doctor is there just to make sure that they don't believe a mistake has been made. Although at 93% accuracy, this particular AI is already more accurate than doctors, human doctors. And then finally, it just goes to show a point that I've made over and over and over again, which is that AI is going to impact all kinds of jobs, not just blue collar jobs or not just white collar jobs or not just retail jobs. It's going to impact everything. And once these agents are generally released in medical environments, it's also highly likely that actual robots will be used in these environments also, particularly for surgery, right? Because a robot surgeon can operate better than any human. And there's other activities in a medical environment that are going to be wholly supplanted by robotics as well. So this is big stuff. This is why I started the AI Guide to prepare you for a radically different future coming in the next five to 10 years. It's going to be very difficult for humans to cope with, especially psychologically, because we cannot grasp and comprehend exponential change. And all of this is changing at an exponential rate now, all of it. So again, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. We really need that financial support to continue to grow this channel. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Take care.